Hello everybody and welcome back to the second shelf. Um, it's December and as you know in December everybody starts making lists. The top 10 best books, uh, the worst books, the best debuts, you name it. Uh, the Goodreads Awards, you know, best of the best. And I thought I'll do a top 10 as well today but a little bit different. Uh, I want to talk to you about the top 10 strangest book bookish facts about me. Uh, I don't want to call it an original tag because I'm absolutely sure that somebody else did this or a similar tag before. Um, but anyway, I, I wanted to do a top 10 uh, with a twist, so to speak. So let's get right into it. Those 10 facts are in no particular order, so it's not from the less or least weirdest to the weirdest. I, I let you decide uh, which one of the 10 you think is the weirdest fact. Um, and I'll start off with the first one. Number one is that I hate being read to. I always did, even as a child. Um, I liked it uh, when, you know, my parents would make up stories and tell them to me, bedtime stories or, or things like that. Uh, but no way I would sit and, and let them read to me. And I have that still today. I, I can't stand it if people read to me. And one of the things that I always hate when I go to, to book readings, you know, I want to hear the author, author talk about something, but I hate the part when they read aloud from a book. I can't even stand if somebody reads a newspaper article to me. I have no idea where that comes from, but it's a fact. Uh, number two, uh, because I'm, I don't like being read to, uh, I have a big problem with audiobooks. Duh. Um, I try to listen to audiobooks. I mean, it's a bit different because it's not a person. I don't see the person, you know, reading from a book. So uh, I, I sort of slowly getting into that, more getting used to that. Um, and I can have um, uh, non-fiction read to me because that's that's like a lecture. Uh, but that's not even number two strange fact. The number two strange fact is that I use audiobooks uh, to fall asleep. If I, I often suffer from insomnia, can't sleep, and then I will just, you know, put the ear plugs in and, and go to Audible and pick something and the voice reading to me, it has to be a, a calm, soothing voice, of course, and then I will fall asleep. And the next morning, you know, I will be 50 chapters in that I haven't even realized. So that's fact number two. Uh, number three. Uh, I have the biggest difficulties in remembering names of characters. Even in, in famous books or books that I've read mo multiple times, more than once, I have to write it down, otherwise I will forget the name of the main character. I'm bad with names anyway, that might be a reason, but I, for the life of me, I can't remember uh, the names of main characters. If you have a tip <laughs> how to improve that, that would be greatly appreciated. Fact number four. For the longest time, when I was younger, I mean, it's some time ago, but still, for the longest time, I thought George Eliot was a man and Evelyn Waugh was a woman. I mean, I think I'm excused. It's not that weird, is it? Because George is a male name and Evelyn is a female name. And George Eliot used a male name as a pseudonym. But I had this whole picture in my mind how they both looked like. You know, George as a man and Evelyn. Uh, yeah, George as a man and Evelyn as a woman. And I only, I think I was in my 20s when I figured out I had it all wrong. But there you go. Effect number five, I can't read sitting in the sun. I have difficulties anyway reading outside because it distracts me, you know, stuff. But in, in when the weather is nice, you want to go outside and you want to read. But I have to sit under something. It's an umbrella or even a tree 
or something, you know, in, in when you're sitting out on a, a veranda, veranda or a terrace of a, of a hotel or a restaurant or something, the, you have these, these sort of rooftops over, that, that's okay. But just taking a chair, even on my balcony, taking the chair outside in the sun, I can't read. And it's not, you know, because I have difficulties with the sun or because it's it's uh, difficult to, uh, to read because of the sunshine. No, it's just a feeling of something. I, 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 I don't know. It's weird, is it? Yeah. Fact number four, five. It's, it's a weird fact, but here we go. Um, fact number six. I, when I buy books, physical books, um, I always feel them. I, I have to feel the texture of the cover and the paper. And if I d don't like it, I, I can't read it. Then I will buy the ebook or, or borrow the ebook e and I will buy the book because I want to have it in my library. But I can't read it. I can't touch it. Uh, my, my favorite books are these, you know, floppy, uh, uh, soft covered with the you can't see that, of course, but it's not um, a smooth g cover, but it's a little bit rough. That's the, the feel that I like the most. I hate deckled edges. I prefer these floppy things uh, to the much more beautiful hard covers, but they just don't feel right to me. And I never buy books with a smooth, gleaming, shining cover. I can't stand that. Ugh. It makes it makes my skin crawl. So there you have it. <laughs> Strange fact about me, number six. Uh, number seven, I love cookbooks, which in and of itself is maybe not too strange. In fact, a lot of people love cookbooks, but I don't cook. I never cook anything out of the cookbooks that I read. I hardly cook anyway. Uh, I don't like cooking, but I love reading cookbooks. I love the pictures. I love the recipes. In a side note, I also love cooking shows to watch on television. So that strange fact goes on even to the visual of watching somebody cook. But I have no inclination of trying out the recipe, of doing it myself. And not so much because I know it will never turn out as beautiful as in the picture in the cookbook, but I, ju I just don't like cooking. So, But watching the, these shows and reading cookbooks, it's one of the most soothing things that I can think of. So I love them. I have a whole collection of cookbooks. Fact number eight. I am absolutely incapable of unhauling books. I love watching unhaul videos where people, you know, get rid of books they don't like or didn't read or will not reread. Uh, one of my best friends, uh, she is an avid reader um, and she has this tiny little bookcase. Well, I'm exaggerating. She has two bookcases, but in my perception, it's tiny because if she read a book and she thinks she will never reread it, she gets rid of it. She either gives it to somebody, you know, uh, as a present, uh, often me, uh, or she gets rid of it in a secondhand bookstore or whatever. Uh, so she has a collection only of books that she rereads, uh, or thinks she will reread. I, 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 I'm, I don't, I'm not able to do that. If I buy a book, it will stay with me forever. I have books in my bookcase in the other room where this is only nonfiction here, but the bookcase where I keep the, the majority of my books that I hate it. And I know I will never read, but I'm absolutely incapable of getting rid of them. Here you go. Fact number nine. I've never read a comic in my life. Not as a child. I tried, you know, these typical Donald Duck kind of, but it, bored the bloody hell out of me. And until recently, I've never read a graphic novel, hence, either. I've now read, I think, yeah, not more than a handful, maybe three or four. But the, the combination, I'm, I'm trying to get into it because you have to, you know, sometimes get rid of these weird facts and try something new. 
but it's it's not it's not for me and as a uh, as a child as a young reader i never read any marvel comics or you know superman uh superwoman what what have you the ant-man spider-man i watched the movies i just recently watched the two marvel uh avenger movies and i love them but i never read a comic and i probably never will number 10 brace yourself for me that's the weirdest fact so that's why I tell you last, I very often read the end of the book first. After I started the book, I will read the first two pages and then very, very often I will read the end. I mean, basically everybody who loves to read hates that if, if somebody does that. Um, I try because I'm an analytical person. I always try to, and I'm a lawyer, so I will come up with all arguments why I do it. Uh, and I think because I'm such um, a plot-oriented reader, if you're following my channel, you know that about me. I'm, I'm really into plot and story, and I, I love a, a good storyline and a good plot. Um, but because of that, I, of course, want to know how the story ends, and that prevents me from reading carefully and slowly. I will just hoover the book down because I want to know how it ends. Um, and if I have read the ending when I start the book, I know how it ends. That gives me calm and then I can read the book in a normal pace. So here you go. These are the 10 most strange or strangest, weirdest bookish facts about me, but I'm also a very nosy person, so I want to know the strangest bookish facts about everybody else. You can tell me, of course, in the comments, uh, some of your strange book facts. Um, and I also want to tag some people specifically, because those are people that I know a little bit, and I'm really curious. So, Sean. Sean the Book Maniac, of course, Steve, Steve Donahue, I'm sure he has some weird facts to tell us, uh, Jess from Garden Scriptorium, Mel from Mel's Bookland Adventures, Kendra, uh, uh, I, I would love to hear your weird bookish facts, Adam from Memento Mori, Eric the Lonesome Reader, of course, Russell from Ink and Paper Blog, Olive from A Book Olive, oh, I'm, I'm dying to hear yours, and Sue from Sue's Book Nook, and everybody else that makes bookish videos, please make a video and tell me your weirdest bookish facts about yourself. So that was it. You now know some very weird things about me. I hope you will not unsubscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. And like I said, let me know in the comments some, about, some facts about you that are weird. And I'll talk to you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.